hey what's up everyone Habib here today in this video I'm going to make a tutorial about how to create a mobile controlled airplane game yes but it is going to be a simple tutorial about how to make the flight controller system okay let's get started by creating a dummy object which is a cube as our airplane so here is my cube and I'm going to make this cube this this shape yeah just it is okay let's add another cube another cube as its child it is just dummy object you will replace this object with your airplane 3d model later okay and this this one will be the wing oh yeah this will be the wing the wing of our airplane and yeah um, i need to remove the mesh the the mesh renderer and the yeah the mesh renderer and this one for the wing yeah wing and let's add a body we add another cube as a child and we use it as the body the body of the aircraft all right and i name it i rename it to body body and we will add a tail for it we add a tail this way and we add let's get organized by renaming renaming it tail and let's add another i don't know what we call it uh, something like wing on a tail what is the name guys i don't know uh, so i just added something like this here tail wing maybe yeah whatever and our airplane 3d model is well done it is made it's done for the airplane air okay what is the next step the next step we need a rig uh, yes rigid body we need to add a rigid body to this airplane rigid body and what is the mass of the airplane maybe 1000 or it is just like this i set it to 1500 as the mass and let's let's try to play the game to see is it going to fall to the ground or not yeah okay that is for the rigid body now what is the next step the next step we are going to create a script here i have um, a folder which is my scene inside it and we will need to create a script we call it uh, TN airplane let's open the script by double clicking it let me close all the script files here and reopen it again 
here before the start we need some public variables let's get started by two public uh, float variables public flow this one is for the thrust thrust it means the speed of the airplane okay let's say 10 float and the second variable will be public float the max max speed or top speed just lay just just say top speed this top speed may be 20 F <coughs> okay and here inside the start oh yeah we need another variable uh, this variable will be rigid body rigid body RV and on the start we initialize and we define what is the RB RB should be this rigid body this rigid body that is inside this airplane object so we need to access it by doing this line rb equals to get component rigid body like that like this then on the update block we will add this if statement we will check what is the current speed of the airplane if rv dot velocity dot magnitude less than top speed if the current velocity dot magnitude is less than the top speed then we will add force to this rigid body rb dot add relate relative force new factor 3 0 x 0 y and thrust for the z thrust for the z and let's get back to unity editor and attach the script to the airplane may looks there is some error line 23 let's check line 23 yeah we miss another uh, what do we call it I forgot <laughs> okay just we need to add another this symbol and check is is there another error there is no error we need to attach this script to the airplane and we are ready to test it by clicking this play button oh it is falling let me check where is the airplane it is it doesn't move forward hi airplane it is moving forward but it is very slow so it means that we need to add the thrust right now the thrust is 
10 and the top speed is 20 so I will increase it to 300 and the thrust I will uh, set it to 200 it is just game back guys yeah, so you can play around with the numbers here it's not a science <laughs> so you can just enjoy playing with the numbers and let's see okay the airplane is moving forward and this time it is faster and I will be happy to increase it to 500 top speed and the thrust to 300 and I thought the problem that caused that that caused this airplane keep falling is the mass it is too heavy so I will decrease the mass to only 500 or maybe 100 and don't forget to attach the main camera as the child of this airplane object so the camera will follow the airplane wherever it goes and I will add uh, some dummy objects on the scene to see where is this airplane going because if we don't have any object on the scene we cannot see is the airplane moving or not so I will add some big plane here maybe I will add a terrain it will look uh, some it will look nice if we add terrain instead of that plane instead of that plane I will place the terrain this way and yeah I will bring up the airplane higher and let's paint some height some height on the terrain paint raise or lower terrain we need to raise the terrain choose this brush to make it some random height and yeah this is fine let's increase the size of the brush something like this guys to make it look like uh, to make it looks like a mountains yeah that is enough and let's play the game it is still falling to the ground oh 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 it, it bounce what if we lower the mass again let's say 10 and we add the thrust to 100 speed the top speed let's add it let's set it 1000 and play it again okay the airplane is moving and it moves faster it is moving forward and I s I think we still need to lower the mass maybe just one just as initial value of this rigid body component <laughs> we don't need 1500 uh, mass for the airplane remember it is just game not the real airplane we can set everything to fit our need okay the the movement is nice but it is too fast now 
so I will decrease the thrust to 100 and top speed to 500 going back to the our first our previous values yeah it's nice but still too fast I will set thrust to 10 and my top speed to 100 and okay let's just increase it here the top speed maybe 200 and the thrust thrust 50 50 is too 50 is too high let's say <laughs> where is it going thrust 10 okay just let's what was the value I forgot the value thrust 10 top speed 50 50 not working 100 uh, for the thrust 30 30 is too fast I need oh no 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 20 20 and 100 20 20 and 100 okay 20 and 100 uh, let's just set it 30 and 50 what do you think is it still too fast 30 and top speed 30 yeah we need experiment guys to make everything we need to do some experiments so let's lower lower it 20 and 20 I think it is nice what do you think it is nice and it is moving on the ground just like a car because we are not controlling it to go up left right or down so what we are going to do is to add a controller to control its uh, direction of the movement what if by default the airplane movement is just uh, forward movement what is we add some little movement to the upward so you know guys the airplane when you, when it is moving by default it is going upside not not falling down to the ground if the engine is working so here I will add a slightly small rotation to the airplane so this is the airplane I will add some small rotation to make it to, to rotate it to rotate it this way very slight rotation to make it go to make it goes up right to make it fly high you know okay let's 
here add some rotation here I will make the third uh, public variable public float I will call it lift default lift and let's say let's set it to one float and let's add let's copy this default lift lift variable here to the uh, x as an x value here default lift x y and z let me check again the x axis you can see this uh, x axis this one guys the red one so what we are going to achieve achieve here is to make it rotate a bit here like this uh, while it is moving so let's check it and play the game what if we add the value to 5 does it the lift I think it is wrong channel it should not be on X and maybe on Y the Y so I will move it from X to and place it Z, Y X Y and Z and check it again let it fall it is too high let's let me bring it down lower and let's say it is just starting from the ground up oh yeah let's create some flat flat surface here to make it as a what we call it the airport set height and the value may be 3 I change the brush to this one decrease de decrease the size where is our airplane it is here okay the brush is still too big let me set it to 20 let's say this is the airport the runway yeah you need to make it straight line but this is the just fake airport i can make it this way and let's place the airplane here all right And let me just adjust the uh, rigid but uh, the box glider of the airplane you know we need to disable box glider for this child objects I will remove the box gliders and I will use this box glider on the main parent object I adjust it by clicking this button and resize it this way okay it's nice and save the game and let's run it here the airplane is starting to move and let's it doesn't produce lift to the aircraft so we need to increase the default lift to maybe 10 and let's see all right 
Okay. So we need to what was happening? Let's try it again. It starts to lift to lift the airplane, but it goes down again. What if we increase the lift? I think it is the wrong operation here. We should not add the default lift to this relative force of this rigid body. So let's cut Control X to cut it and set it to zero instead we are going to use the relative torque of this rigid body so here we do rb dot add relative torque new factor 3 We start trying with X first, so I place it on the X axis, X default left, and 0 for Y and 0 for Z. And let's try it again. Click the play button. Let's increase it 30. Oh yeah it it goes down so we need to set it to negative 10 maybe let's try it again negative 10 doesn't work maybe we decrease it again to negative 20 Just let's see come on come on come on it doesn't go up it doesn't fly what you know it is working but I think we need to increase it uh, decrease it again to negative 30 yeah it is working but it is too high uh, let's set it to It's somehow working, but still, I don't. I'm not happy with that. What if we just get rid get rid of this rigid body operation here, and instead we are rotating it manually using the transform operation? So we are going to transform rotate this airplane upward let me check I will rotate it on X axis so 0 0 0 this one is X axis and I place the default lift here 
and let's see and let's see try to test it again transform okay I missed the M transform okay I plan oh it is too high the the rotation value is too high the fault lift value let's start with one and see okay it is rot it is rotating but down side I need to set it to negative one or maybe less than negative one or more than negative one for example negative zero point one let and let's see let it increase it okay we cannot start it from the ground let's place it here and see how does it behave it is somehow working alright the problem is with this at relative force so guys for sorry for the confusion let's forget about this relative force and instead we need to add a uh, forward movement to the rigid body by this RB by setting its velocity RB dot velocity equals to transform dot forward multiplied by uh, by thrust and let's place it outside this annoying magnitude and rel relative force I don't know why I did it previously but because previously I've made an another airplane came and I used this technique but seems it sucks and I I will try this new method here so we are working with rb dot velocity to move it forward and then rotate it a bit upward to make it fly go back to the game and test it yeah that is nice I like that and let's start it from the ground place it here and I will still need to decrease the rotation I don't know what is the term decrease decrease or increase just let me set it to 0 0.01 negative 0 0.01 okay go up 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 let's increase it to okay restart it again but this time let me set it to 0 point negative 0 0.05 <coughs> come on you can play around with this default lift to rotate it up and down but 
I don't know why doesn't it doesn't it work when it is on the ground so if you set it to negative value I think there is a still problem with the rotation we need to change it to okay guys something I found something and I think the problem is the script is working but the problem is the axis of this airplane the central axis of this airplane because it is here if we rotate it this way you see the the rear part of the airplane is touching the ground and it keeps the airplane go this way again because it has a collider here no matter how much we rotate it upside because it is touching the ground it will push it back down fight downward here so to avoid this problem we need to adjust the axis of this airplane that is let's uh, make it a prefab drag and drop it here to make it prefab and here I will I will move this objects wing body tail and keep uh, I forgot to rename it uh, what did I say about it tail wing <laughs> just name it tail wing and here the axis and let me set the position to 0 x y and z and to make it at the center of the screen of the scene I need to place the axis here so what I need to do is to move this elements this way you see that and let's see if it is working here is our airplane we move it oh the the box collider doesn't move so we need to edit it. the box collider you should not be here but instead you have to uh, you have to be you have to be this way you see the rotation is 0 0.09 let's set it to 0 alright and adjust it this way alright let's run the game again I need to reposition it here okay this time it must be working go up go up let me increase it yeah it is working now that is what I want so let's set the value to 0 negative 0 0.1 and let's try it again let me go backward a bit okay airplane let's fly alright yeah I like it I like the way it take off it takes off and the next step is to control this this airplane using a touch screen buttons and for now for now let's add 
some controlling function using our keyboard so we need to play it on our unity editor first then later we add a touch screen buttons to control this airplane so I will use my W A and S and D buttons on my keyboard to control the rotation the movement of my airplane so let's get rid of this uh, good and here we will play with this transform dot rotate it is very simple and useful and we are going to use our keyboard we are going to use our keyboard to control the airplane movement so here we will do a checking we will do if statement to check the what key what button of our keyboard is pressed so let's let's start with w and s buttons so here we check if uh, input dot get key key code dot w if the value is true we will rotate the airplane down side so here we will transform dot rotate the airplane this time to rotate it downside we need to set it to one and then for the s button if we do we do the same thing but this one for the opposite direction transform dot rotate negative one and let's let's test it play the game I did not press any button yet and now let's press W button it is not working guys W and S button is not working so what if we increase the value 10 and negative 10 and play it again and check the console log to make sure is it working or not we can check to let's print some text on the console debug.log m is press and we do the same thing for the m what is m w i mean w m is press and for this one uh, s yeah <laughs> i forgot to rip to set it to s man s this one w and this one is s so this time it should work it should be working fine now let's press the s button whoa the rotation is too high so let me set it back to one okay let's go back and test it again let's press the s button and w button you see the rotation of this airplane is too fast and it's not realistic so we need to decrease it here 
we set it to 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 Mm -hmm. we need to add F symbol to make it float press the S button what do you think? is it too fast? I think it is fine. It is fine. And what about the left and right rotation? Here we will work on left and right rotation. So we copy this code and change the S to A a is press so we don't need this log anymore let's delete them so for the a button we need to we need to rotate the airplane this way so this is this must be z rotation for so for the z rotation i left I leave it 0 for X Y and for this Z rotation I will set it to negative 5 negative point 0.5 F and for the D button we set, we set it to positive 0.5 float and let's test the game here we are taking off and let's press the A button A and D button is not working I did I think I did same mistake as before we did not rename it to D okay let's play it again press S press A D and it is working but I think the I did it uh, I should place I should set it to positive for a and negative for D okay this time it must be correct press s to take off yeah and press A to rotate it this way and D to rotate it this way now I can fully control the airplane movement okay so far we are working with uh, keyboard buttons and we will work on touchscreen buttons on this uh, unity editor I mean we are going to make buttons on this canvas and we can control it we should be able to control it by pressing buttons on this canvas later I will do that on my next video and as for this video this is all it's all uh, what can I do for you in this video I won't make it too long and it is already too long and somehow I'm happy with the airplane I can control it to go anywhere by using my keyboard 
okay thank you for watching this tutorial and see you next time on my next video stay tuned and please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet to get my next videos and hit the notification ring bell ring button to get notified all right bye bye see you next time